So you have received your homestead check and the homestead check is yellow or red and it says, oh no, you have low market value. Well, we're not gonna panic. We're gonna walk through some simple steps of what you can do to fix this. So the first thing you need to do is get together your evidence and your reasons that you believe you have low market value. Of course, you're sitting here going, what are you talking about? You guys are the ones that told me I have low market value. Well, when we do your homestead check, we use various uh, algorithmic and online sources of information that are available to us to determine your market value. And those aren't necessarily the best thing to try and argue with your property appraiser. You're basically gonna go to your property appraiser now and say, hey, I think you've made a mistake. And on January the 1st, when you came up with my market value, I don't think what you came up with was accurate. And the first thing they're gonna say to you is, why not? What information do you have that you think is better? So let's talk a little bit about that. The best thing that you could come up with would be an appraisal for your property where the appraiser determines your market value as of your prior January the 1st. Now Florida Homestead Check has developed a network of appraisers through the state that you can go to. We've, we have ones for each area and these appraisers know what they're doing. They understand what you're trying to achieve as far as your market value adjustment is concerned and they've agreed uh, to do their work at a reasonable price and we have vetted them to make sure that they are quality and reputable providers for appraisals. So you can uh, click on our appraisal information uh, tab and you can see our network of appraisers and pick one close to you and give them a call, get a quote for your house. Uh, a bigger house is gonna be more, a smaller house will be less and you can have them do an appraisal for you. That's the best evidence that you can come up with. Well, let's say you don't want to do an appraisal right now for whatever reason. Well, there are other things that you could do. Um, maybe you have listed your house for sale. If your homestead check is red, it's because you either have plans to sell your house or you've listed it for sale, or maybe it's already under contract. So if you already have a contract for sale on your house, that's a lot of evidence of what the value is because if someone's offering to pay that for it, and you rewind the clock to January the 1st of the year, it probably wasn't that different. So a sales contract can be valuable evidence. If your house is listed on the market, that means you're working with a realtor. And you can ask your realtor to provide you with what's called a comparative market analysis. All realtors are supposed to be able to do this. It's basically where they put together the comparative sales in your area that are very similar to your house and prepare a report and you should tell your realtor that they should use sales that had occurred prior to January the 1st. So if they do that, they can give you that comparative market analysis report and you can use that to talk to the property appraiser. There's also things like the Zillow Z estimate, other online valuation models that you could use, but those are probably going to be the least convincing to the property appraiser. So let's get together your evidence now. You're gonna try and convince somebody that they're wrong. So you wanna get your ducks in a row, you wanna get your evidence together so that when you meet with them, you're gonna be able to convince them.